think it's safe to say that Monate has had a positive effect on everyone in this room. And today, right? And today, you're going to hear from a few market partners who are going to share their story and how the Monate effect has impacted their lives. Now, our first market partner, you'll probably recognize her name because it hovers around the top 10 list on the leaderboard every month. And she's one of the elite few who's going to be whisked away to Europe on Monate's dime next month. But what you might not know about this leader is Southern California's Monate Empire was built with the help of her leadership. And she's able to balance it all by being super mom and wonder wife. And she even still gets to spend a little bit of time behind the chair of a very famous housewife of Orange County. Please welcome to the stage Associate Executive Director Christina Smallwood. Oh my gosh, okay, so when they first told me about the Monade effect, I was like, yes, that is exactly what's happened to me. Um, before Monade, my husband and I, we endured a series of very challenging life events. Um, it started with um, each of us losing one of our parents, to our infertility, to dealing, you know, going through the adoption process of our daughter, Finley, who was born prematurely, and as a result, she has um, cerebral palsy. So what that means for her is that she walks not independently, but she walks with like the aid of a little walker. And in dealing with these life challenges, it's sort of like awoke this uh, workaholic within me, and work became what I did to deal. And here it is like supposed to be the happiest time in my life, like someone chose me to parent their baby, and she picked me. And I was stuck on this like cycle of, you know, chasing away mom guilt and feeling like I'm taking on too much and trying to make all the Pinterest dreams come true and just constantly in this cycle. And it was really like a blur of grief and guilt. And I remember having to feel like it was this battle of like I have to choose between the career I always thought I wanted and being the mom I always thought I would be. And I remember a conversation I had with Finley's birth mom like way in the beginning and she said, you know, my brother was ready to adopt her but then he would have been at work all the time and she would have been raised by babysitters and I didn't want that for her. I wanted you and Josh to be her parents. And when I think about that blurry time in my life, that was exactly the life that Finley was living. I was at work and she was with a babysitter at therapy and I was getting texted the play-by-plays of all the progress she was making. You know, Finley ate with a spoon today. Finley balanced for 15 seconds today and I missed out on a lot. And no one ever says like, I can't wait to be a mom so that I can miss everything. And you guys, I love money <laughs> for a million reasons. Like, I love money for a million, million reasons. I feel like Lady Gaga, giving me a million reasons, a million reasons. <laughs> but I don't have time to list them all, but a huge chunk of my reasons is sitting, like, right over in this section right here. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, but if I have to say the single greatest effect that Monet has had on my life, it's the gift of presence and time in my daughter's life. Um, just a couple weeks ago, Finley, out of the blue, it was a random day, our birth mom was over, we're in an open adoption, and Finley just decided this was the day that she just sorta stood up from the ground and walked several feet to me. She had never done this before. She's almost five years old. I'm telling you guys, we waited, I've waited five years for her to do this. And I would have waited a lifetime more. It was so worth every moment and I'm so glad that I got to be there to witness it. Because I know if it was before Monet, I would have absolutely been at work that day and I would have missed it. And not missing out and not feeling like you have to choose is 
she's even here in Vegas, you guys. Like, no one is more excited than Finley to be in Vegas. <laughs> I picked her up from school, this is a true story, on Friday, and her teacher's like, she's telling everyone she's going to Vegas for spring break. And I was like, yeah, like, mom of the year. <laughs> no, but we joke a lot after we're done with a meet on eight, because we're like, all we did was stand up there and cry, like, this is life changing, you know? But it is, and it's not like you just like, click join now and bam, your life changes, right? That's not how it works, but you click join now, and it sparks this effect in you to get out of your comfort zone, try something new that day, learn to deal with rejection, um, and just kind of try new things. And before you know it, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm handling these situations different. I'm, I handle that way different. Oh my gosh, I have more time here. I, my life looks different. My life has changed. And for me, my life is drastically different than it was two years ago. I mean, you guys, I'm wearing a Britney Spears microphone on a Vegas <laughs> stage on a Tuesday. <laughs> So when someone joins my team and they're like, do you think I can do it? Do you think I can hit director? Do you think I can get to Cancun? Do you think I can get the car? My, question's or my response is always a question like, do you believe you can? Because I think that so many people don't understand that the power of your positive mind and belief in yourself is half the battle. That's it. And it's the same exact advice that I give to someone that's just lost a loved one or grieving, um, you know, infertility, going through the adoption phase, raising a child with special needs. You're going to have to take it one day at a time. And that's it. You can't think so far ahead. You have to take it one day at a time, and you have to have a laser focus on the positive and you have to grab it each day and you put it in front of you. And then you grab it and you put it in front of you. And before you know it, and some days it's obvious, right? It's like, oh, that was a big positive day. And other days you're like sifting through the 99% neg negative and you're like, oh, this was a gift from God, this 1% positive, you know, like, oh. And before you know it, you've built a bridge over a challenge that you never thought you would, or you've overcome a fear that you never thought you would, or like for me, a big old blur of grief and guilt is behind me. And it's that power of your mind and your positivity and you're able to focus that is something that you can be so proud of yourself for. And that, to me, that is the money effect. We're so proud for you and Josh and Finley. Thank and you. I hope you enjoyed Christina's story. And we want to hear your money effect story. So be sure to share it on social and hashtag money effect. Yes. Thanks a lot. Yes, thank you. Good to be alive right about now. Ooh.